Psalm 107 colon 10 Christ, our Deliverer. We left off with verse 9 in Psalm 107, holding fast to Jesus who is the Word of God, our shelter and refuge as the storms of life thrash us. Psalm 107 colon 10, those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons. The reference in these verses is evidently to the children of Israel, when in Babylonian captivity, where the design of the psalm is to show the goodness of God to them in their time of trouble and to use the occasion for praising him by faith that Jehovah will see them through the dilemma. Verses 10 through 16, speak of a person trapped in a mental prison, which could be as devastating as were the tomb-like prison cells of that day, little more than unhealthy, filthy crypts. The state of a lost soul under the heavy conviction of sin is compulsorily represented by such a condition, where the mind cannot see the promises, which would bring them comfort, so they remain paralyzed, helpless to change their situation and thus suffocated by the inactivity of despair, overwhelmed by the fear their pending doom, they are thereby as much distressed as if they were at death's door. It is also possible that the psalmist has in mind the capture and imprisonment of King Zedekiah in 586 BC or of the thousands of others over the eons that have sat in dark cells in the shadow of death as fear of execution casts an even greater gloom over them. Being bound in affliction and iron, prisoners often feel doubly restrained, both in heart and hand. No one but the few who have felt these iron chains of great affliction knows these things. We would better prize our liberty if we knew by actual experience what the weight of chain shackles and manacles felt like. A spiritual sense disorder frequently attends the conviction of sin, this coupled with double grief affects a twofold bondage. In such cases the mind is chained, the hapless captives cannot rise to any hope because of their grief, and they have no power because of their despair. We should recall how God brought Simon Peter out of prison and how he delivered Paul and Silas at night. With those in mind, think of our own situation, born in sin and condemned to death even at our birth, but he has delivered us from the prison's death row, and God has given us a pardon through Christ's propitiation. God has a pardon for everyone. A few might say, if there is a pardon, why am I not forgiven? The answer is clear and simple, through our Lord Jesus Christ we have the forgiveness of sins and a pardon for our iniquities, but we have to accept it. And that is true even in the prisons of our day, a pardon must be accepted. Have you accepted the substitutionary death of Jesus as payment in full for your own penalty due? God's word, through Paul's pen, tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord.